Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys? Well, today is the night, and I am going to measure back my stomach and do a video stating what I did during the time, how I'm currently feeling. And you guys, I need your feedback to tell me how you find I look compared to the first video. So I'll try to put the first video together. My very, very first video, so you can see how I look. Right, this is me. I still okay. have this, yes, I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, but I'm going to do the measurements now. So, my waist was 40 when I first started, guys. Waist, right? <laughs> guys, it is 29 and a half, guys. I lost half inch, half inch guys, half inch on the waist, but I feel so lighter and I gained around the hip area. It's 52, so I guess the glutes grow. How do I feel guys? As I said, let me go back so you guys can see me. <sighs> this is how I look. Alright. Okay guys, so I'm not going to make this video too long, but I'm going to make it informative for you guys to get to know, right? I drank water. I mean, I drank a lot of more water. I ate more soups. What I also did was decrease my salt intake, my sugar intake, and I also removed junk. Yes, I ate cake, but it was homemade. I mean, homemade cake. Um, chocolate cake. Also, um, I had um, more watermelons and bananas and apples. So I include more of my um, more of the fruits. So guys, the journey has been really good for me because as I became more intentional with my steps and include you guys in my journey, I would listen. I want you guys feedback on how you think I look. Um, if this has helped you somehow it has helped me um because what not only what have on exercise helps with the serotonin and dopamine which is the hormones for relaxation and to bring pleasure and putting this pleasure that takes sex is not that but to keep you calm and keep you happy and keep you excited and keep you looking you know um within that space right and I also use the exercise as a form to de-stress, as a form to start my day with, with goodness, with, with that vibes, with that energy, with that excitement, with that push, right? I start my day with that intentionally. Um, especially, guys, you know when life hits, it can really, really um, take a toll on you. Right when I didn't, when you guys didn't see me come on, and I told you guys something had happened, and it had me, I had to take a step down for like a, three days from exercising. I was in the hospital, right? <laughs> stress. Long story short, stress. And I was like, nah, <laughs> this not gonna be. Mm, this not gonna. Mm, this is not going to keep me down. And I have, you know, been reading, and you know, I know, I know that exercise help not only the body to look good and feel good but your kids. mind your mind and sometimes you can't do exercises and your mind still be on that thing but what I've learned occupy the mind with what is positive occupy your mind with what is positive and keep going so guys so what I did again I had a lot of watermelon bananas um, apples drank my water had more soups I cut back on my flour intake but I did eat bread I did eat bread. I ate um, potatoes, stuffed potatoes. I will send you guys a picture. I'll try to put that up on, the, on this video. Um, what I would say is that I find that my stomach has gone down a lot. Alright. Alright, so it was, guys. Sweating. Right. 
I pray that one pray that my my students who um contributed to me working out with this leggings. Um but today is the ninth. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue to do my exercise no matter how busy I am. I'm gonna try to put in at least 20 minutes, if not 30 minutes a day. It is important to your health to do something for you. Do it. And sometimes we get stuck in just wondering that we end up just wondering being stuck. So as that particular day when I got up, I was not my best that morning. But I sat down and I sat down on the bed and I was like, girl, you know, you had to get up and do something. You had to get up and go back to work. Listen, guy, I would I would normally get up early in the morning and take walks. So those of you who know, I would normally take long walks on what two miles. Walk and jog, walk and jog with my dogs and we'd go. Get kick. And um I didn't do that for like two weeks and then I started to feel like my body feel like my body felt like it was rebelling. And um so now I can't tolerate sweet things. Like my daughter made a tea, uh chocolate tea this week. And as, as soon as I put it in my mouth and like when I put it in my mouth, my like this is how it felt. Like it felt like like all these sugars were spikes and it just my whole mouth was like so I, I didn't drink, I didn't swallow. I was like so I gave I was like she's like mommy what happened? I was like I can't drink this, it's too much. I was like, you put sugar, extra sugar. She's like, no, they put extra sugar. I was like, this something is wrong. So my body now is, and you need to listen to your body. Your body sends signals, sends signs, just like the Lord. The Lord will send one before destruction. And um, I could, I can't tolerate. Mm-mm. I can't tolerate. It's like even chocolate. I can't eat the full quantity I would normally eat. So this journey, that's what I've been on. It's good. It's, it's it's beneficial for me. And I hope, I really, really hope it encourage you guys as ladies, as men, to get up and start at least walking. Do your squats. Because I'm, listen, I want to, I, I, I pray to God that I live to see the rest of 2023. And I'm going to see my full transformation of me being who I was. So I'm going to try to get a picture from when I first started to now. And you guys want to see that. Let's do this. Hey guys, so I'm looking at this video that I just posted up and I would add the pictures of how I started at first and today. Guys, my results may look slow to some of you guys, but the way how I feel guys, I feel amazing. Every time I finish working out, I feel amazing and it, it really boosts my day. I mean, after prayers and all of that, it boosts my day. I feel lighter. I feel the weight, um, like my legs and my undergarment guys my undergarment you know what i mean like my laundry my um, undergarment that kind of thing i'm speaking about and guys i can feel it within my my, my pants my jeans pants i feel the weight going someone told me twice as different people like hey you're losing weight and i'm like you're fine but i'm not seeing it but then i looked at video six i saw how i was looking and i'm amazed and I have that. That is, it is not a full month that I would work out for. That's let's say 20 days for the most. 20 days, right? And guys, so if this is working, that means I can continue to do this. This means that this is going to work. And with that being said, my stomach is not as big as it used to be, guys. Like, I mean, we listen, let's do this. Let's be accountable for each other. You can email me, I'll put my email in the description box. And let us support each other as we go forward, you know, and um, become better at our meal prepping, um, better at our decision making and stuff like that. Because I have hypothyroidism and I stress is is a uh, it, it's not good for my thyroids. It tend to I realize it tend to make my body um resistant to, to breaking down my metabolism and stuff like that and yes i'm on my medication for that so it took me a little while before i could um lose weight and stuff because of the hypothyroidism but i was diagnosed and i was being treated so now i'm getting back on that road for recovery and to full 
movement so guys you can do this with me if you can join me i will appreciate it guys thank you for stopping by let's do this let's do this